What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WiFiEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. Super excited about shooting this video with you guys because we just had a pretty good conversation inside of our online community. I want to share with you guys a little bit about what, what happened and what transpired there. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, make sure you're subscribing to our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion of profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, uh, we just had a pretty good conversation transpiring in our online community. If you're not a part of our online community, make sure you click on the link below and get a part of it right away. We have over close to 2 million people now in our online community, all uh, online entrepreneurs helping each other to seed online, learning from each other, tips, tricks, different tools, resources, etc., that we utilize that can help all of us succeed. So I'm really excited about being a part of that online community. I'm very excited about having you a part of the online community as well. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out in the link below. Uh, on yesterday, one of our ambassadors, one of our community ambassadors, published a new blog post in which they were sharing more or less their story of success with the online community, more or less the story of the success of their blog, and also sharing the success of some people uh, who have been following that, that ambassador. She's doing very well following her online. Uh, some people were looking at some of her posts or her trainings and implementing some of the strategies and they found success as well and that wasn't debated that's not something that you would contest and say hey why is this a, a breakout conversation inside your online community well what was quite interesting was what the conversation was about and that was about the number of posts blog posts that it takes in order for you to really find that 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 threshold that that turning point of success with your online blog I know in a previous video we discussed a little bit about long the use of long tail keywords and I shared with you guys how we have a awesome keyword research tool that we utilize that I believe can really help you get your blog to the first page of Google in record time uh, but one of the things with those long tail keywords because they're so long because you're not using words like shoes instead you're using words like men's running shoes that you're trying to target you find that you're not going to have a ability to load up a particular article with a whole bunch of keywords instead you're going to want to focus in on just those long tail keywords for each article and with that you end up finding that you need to write a number of articles in order to really stand out in Google. Google doesn't just give you first page of Google just because of the fact that you wrote one article. Instead, they want to see a, a pattern of good, high, relevant keywords that they believe fit what in turn what they believe is your niche. They in turn figure out what is this person writing about. This must be what this website is about. Uh, so I'm going to send more niche traffic uh, that's geared around this conversation that they're having on their blog. I'm going to send more of that to them. And because of such, you, you find yourself writing uh, men's running shoes. You may write another article, men's running shoes for people with bad feet, men's running shoes for flat foot people, etc. Men's running shoes with high arches. And you can see how it can go on and on and on. Well, each one of those will be a different article. Well, one of the things that was discussed in our, in our online community was the fact that because we know we have to write a number of articles, we often uh, like to tie a number into it. Uh, having a number associated with the goal allows us to better track the goal. If we know that we're looking to attain a certain amount number of posts, then uh, if we can look and see how many posts we've written, if it's not near that then we know we have more uh, room for growth and the number that we've come up came across or come about in our online community is 400 
we believe you need about 400 good relevant engaging posts on your blog for google really to respect your blog as a uh, authority in the niche in which you're trying to obtain now that doesn't mean that you can get high relevant traffic to your blog with less than 400 articles however we found that if you have about 400 articles you have so much content for google index that you will get more and more engaging traffic more relevant traffic that you're looking to to achieve now in our community we all have this understanding that 400 is the number that we want to achieve we all work together to see how we can come up with new ideas that we can then search for inside of our keyword search tool that we can then turn into great relevant blogs for our individual niches we have a lot of different niches everyone does not do the same thing i'm personally in the make money online niche i want to help you make money online i want to consolidate some of the key resources and tools and information that you need in order to be successful there are other people who are into the make money online niche they have their own direction and passion some may be in a network marketing company some may be starting their own coaching program or course program etc uh, however i know there's a good person that specializes in just veil travel uh, so veil is in colorado they specialize in only traveling to veil the re resorts the food the things the attractions that you may be interested in doing you can all find inside of their blog one of the interesting things rather is how the different subjects can all the conversations can go in these different blogs one of the things that was contested if you will is the fact or the, 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 the fact that it's believed that you need a lot of review articles in order to succeed. It is true that people, when they go to the internet to look for something that they're already considering buying, they most often search for a review. If you're writing review style posts, you're more than likely are gonna be uh, found inside of Google a little bit faster. However, that does not necessarily mean that there aren't other ways in which you can uh, articulate a interesting domain authority leadership in your industry message to your audience without it having to be a review and that was really what the, the people were, were trying to debate back and forth and I have to be honest uh, based off the experience that I've had that I truly believe that review articles do very well how uh, they do bring you up what you end up finding is you understand what that kind of what that person is interested in by the kind of thing that they're searching for. So if you write an article, let's say about a Hootsuite review. Well, Hootsuite is a social media tool that allows you to schedule your online posts, your social media posts in advance. So if I knew if someone was going to check out a Hootsuite review, I knew that person was definitely interested in growing their social media, uh, being a little bit more focused in their content engagement there so if someone were to land on that page I may make available to them some of our social media training information for them to seek out more uh, knowledge on and you know etc so that's kind of where you want to be if someone were looking at let's say TubeBuddy review I know that that end of TubeBuddy is a tool a YouTube tool that helps you to uh, enhance and optimize your YouTube description content and tags if I know someone were looking at a, a two buddy review I know that person was looking to grow their YouTube base and I may make available to them on that page information that's geared around that direction so this is kind of how you are able to utilize reviews to really pinpoint and better target your potential customer whereas if you were looking to do something a little bit different like how to make money online you may get someone who's there looking to make money online but you never know what how they're looking to make they may be an artist they may be looking to make money online selling their their art posters they may be looking on, on online for a quick way to do surveys etc what, what i'm trying to say is there are a number of different additional directions a person can be can be directed to if the blog or if the keyword is not directly defined and that's the differences that I've noticed between the review posts and the non-review posts. So yes, you need 400 articles. Yes, you need to write a lot of content in order to get indexed in Google to be seen as a domain authority leader or a thought leader in your industry. 
but the, inf the, the all the articles don't necessarily have to be reviews however you can see now how the reviews have a little bit more power and I offer you the opportunity to make a little bit more impact with your sales funnels if you know exactly what the individual is looking to achieve by the review in which they sought out so this is just something to consider moving forward there are two sides here to both stories you know I have made it to the first page of Google uh, with uh, a technique that wasn't a review one of my very first articles that made it to the top page of Google was more or less a how-to post which is another great way uh, to direct people and, and direct targeted traffic to your website if a person is learning how to post on YouTube or how to post on Facebook you know what this individual is looking to do he's looking to do more posts on YouTube or do more posts on Facebook so uh, these work as well this is exactly what I did I created a post it was a how-to post I knew that if the individual was there looking for this I knew a, a particular product that they could utilize that would be beneficial to them so not only was the content relevant pushing me to the first page of Google but also the it's those visitors seem to convert at a higher pace because I'm giving them exactly what it is that they're looking for. So if you or anyone you know are interested in make money online, turning their passion into profit, please tell them about our website, wifientrepreneur.com. Please tell them about our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit. We have a community, like I mentioned before, of over a million individuals, all online entrepreneurs helping each other succeed. We want to help you succeed. We have a link and information below. We also have a free online training center. I told you earlier in the conversation that I've consolidated as much of the cream of the crop, the best stuff out there, uh, the training tools, the resources, the PDFs, the anything you're looking for in order to really, if you're online right now searching for how do I make money? What is the next step? Where, wherever you are, what's the next step? I guarantee you that inside of our online community, we're gonna have some information in there that's gonna help you identify what that next step is, help you move into that next step with confidence, knowing that you are using the best information possible to see your success in this year. So I'm gonna leave it there. Please go over and check out our online community. Please go over there and check our free online training center. I look forward to talking to you guys again real soon. So until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.